All right, so in this section, we're going to look at WordPress permalinks. And permalinks are permanent URLs to your individual web blog posts, as well as categories and other lists of web, blo web blog postings. So basically, uh, a link to uh, uh, an individual post by default uh, are ugly. And that's coming off the WordPress website. And you can see here, we have the domain and then slash question mark p equals n where n would be a number this would be the ID of your post so this is what they look like by default and if we go to our uh, default blog and click on our sample page now you can see up here we just have page ID equals 2 so that's not very friendly to search engines or humans um, so we want to change this and this um, codex.wordpress.org slash using permalinks this is a really helpful page uh, pretty much tells you everything there is to know about permalinks um, there's what the, the this called pretty permalinks and this is where we would have the actual post name in the URL as opposed to uh, just the ID and in some cases you can you, you might want to include the date uh, or the category you can do that as well and you can even, even create a custom structure. Uh, to use permalinks, we need to use the Apache module mod rewrite. And most Linux servers uh, will have this, this option enabled. If you're using like something like HostGator or GoDaddy or any of those, then you sh you'll be fine. Um, I'm not really familiar with Windows-based servers, uh, so you'd have to check that, but I'm sure that there's some kind of a way around that. Uh, so we're not really going to go, well yeah, I guess we will. So this is how what it looks like. We'll actually log in and, and check this out and change it. We might as well do that now. I'll just log in here. Alright, so what we want to do when we reach our dashboard is go to settings and then permalinks and as you can see the default looks like this the P equals and then the ID number now we can choose to include the date and time the day and time um, and this will have the actual post name the month and name we can have numeric or post name which is what we're going to use now you can also use a uh, custom structure and you can see we're using um, different short codes for a post name this is what it would look like you can also go to this uh, wordpress.org page and where it says, says structure tags you can actually get all the short codes from here alright so year um, month day hour category author you can put the author in the in the URL so you can create your own URLs if you want um, but I always prefer just to have the post name so let's save that and if we visit our home page and then click on sample page now this looks a lot better so whatever we name our post is it's going to show up here. So if you're going to have a WordPress site then that should definitely be one of the first things that you do.